What about? Oh my God. She even has your hair. What's the hook? Oh, shit. I did not say that like that. Cool. Fuck. I'm ducking people. So that's what your documentary's about. Hi, everyone. I'm your host, and today we dive into the sixth season of one of the most popular shows on streaming services, Black Mirror. The show has captivated audiences since its debut in 2011 with its morbidly thrilling concept and excellently crafted stories that explore the dark aspects of society's relationship with technology. Will the sixth season have been as successful as the previous ones? Let's find out by comparing this latest installment with the previous seasons and analyzing all aspects, from the plot to the production value. If you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel thanks. The sixth season storyline differs markedly from that of previous seasons, focusing more on horror and suspense rather than the social commentary for which the show is known. That doesn't mean there isn't any underlying message but surely technology this season doesn't affect the characters of Black Mirror, at least not in all of them. The main story arc follows different characters in each episode. Some, like the protagonists of Joan is Awful and Beyond the Sea, find themselves in unexpected situations due to a technology problem or an experiment gone wrong. In the others it seems to see only a horror film. Season 6 of the series introduces viewers to a plethora of intriguing and complex characters, each with their own unique complexities and story arcs. The main focus of Black Mirror should be to explain how technology impacts individuals, society and the world at large. But is it the same for the sixth season? Season 6 brings into focus the ways technology can be both a boon and a curse in equal measure. In previous seasons of Black Mirror, the authors always wanted to tell how society becomes more and more dependent on technology and how we run the risk of not even noticing it. But in Season 6 it doesn't seem like that especially for episodes like Lock Henry, Maze a Day and Demon 79 which are just a nice horror representation where technology has no impact in the story. This season's themes are more about horror and suspense, rather than the typical futuristic dystopia that Black Mirror is known for. Technology is still an important motif, but it is used less as a tool of oppression and more as a source of terror. This gives the show an almost surreal quality, making it more like an anthology piece than a coherent narrative. However, kudos must be given to the production of the sixth season of a popular television series which nonetheless captivated the audience not only with its gripping storyline but also with its outstanding production value and visuals. This season has really taken things to a whole new level, with every detail carefully thought through to bring the futuristic dystopian world to life. The stunning visuals are a testament to the hard work and dedication put into each episode. The sets are absolutely beautiful and incredibly intricate, transporting viewers into a fantastical universe. Every little detail has been taken care of with the utmost attention, from the neon lights to the intricate lines on the walls, underlining the importance of even the smallest parts in a world dominated by technology. The cinematography is also particularly impressive. The camera angles and lighting perfectly convey the tension and drama of the story, making viewers feel truly immersed in the action. The use of strong contrasts and non-linear storytelling techniques add further depth and complexity to the images. Special effects play a vital role in bringing the horrors of a world under technology to life. The team behind the special effects did an outstanding job creating post-apocalyptic scenes, with computer-generated imagery that blended seamlessly with real-life footage. The explosions and the scenes of pursuit are particularly notable, with the frenetic action adding to the tension and excitement of the story. The costumes faithfully reflect the individuality, personal style, and respective storylines of each character. From the sleek-looking clothes and stylish hairstyles of the sophisticated tech elite to the ruggedly minimalist costumes of those living outside the city, Every little detail has been carefully considered to bring out the personalities of the characters and add depth to their stories. Reaction to season 6 was largely negative, with some fans even calling it a huge disappointment, compared to previous seasons. This was partly due to the lack of social commentary and the increased focus on horror, which many fans felt was one step away from what made Black Mirror unique. Critical reviews have also been less than favorable with most noting that while the graphics are impressive and there are some interesting ideas present, they don't quite reach their full potential due to the slow pace and addictiveness from horror tropes. Black Mirror Season 6 is a great example of how horror can be used to explore technology-related themes in a way that is unique but perhaps off-topic with previous seasons.
The slower pace might be off-putting for some viewers, but there are still plenty of interesting storylines and characters to keep you engaged throughout. The production values are also excellent, making it still worth a watch if you're looking for a creepy and suspenseful season of television. So, if you're looking for something new to watch, Black Mirror Season 6 might be the perfect choice but don't expect to see a narrative like the previous seasons. I hope this episode of Streaming Addicts has been helpful in giving you an idea of what to expect from Season 6 of Black Mirror. Do you agree with our analysis? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to check out more on our channel. Until next time, stay streaming. Thanks for watching.